The Colombo District branch of the Government Medical Officers Association convened a media briefing at the Apeksha Hospital in Maharagama, pointing out the crisis sparked by the lack of medicine in the country and the mass exodus of medical professionals from the country. Maharagama. Five specialist doctors from the Maharagam Hospital have left the country. About 19 other doctors have also left the country. Many more doctors are currently completing their relevant examinations so that they can leave the country. There are many doctors waiting to be assigned to the Maharagama Hospital or the Colombo Hospital. These five specialist doctors are replaced by doctors available in the peripheries. A specialist doctor will come to the Maharagama hospital, but there will be no doctor to replace him in the hospital that he came from. About 5,000 doctors are waiting to travel overseas. This is not the fault of the doctors. They have been pushed to a point where they are leaving the country because of the suffering that they have to go through. A single doctor at the OPD was treating about 100 patients per day. Now that number has increased to 200 to 250. A single doctor has to treat 200 to 250 patients a day. We are at a point where this is getting even worse. The media briefing in the Vyamba province was held at the Kurnagala Teaching Hospital. We had two neurosurgeons. One of them had resigned and travelled overseas. Now the remaining neurosurgeon has to do the work that was done by the two neurosurgeons in the past. He is extremely tired now. He can only perform a limited number of surgeries per day. Because of this situation, we have had to transfer several patients out of this hospital. There are a few patients who had passed away also because of this situation. And this situation has only gotten worse because one of the neurosurgeons had left. A media briefing was also called at the Hambantota General Hospital. The Hambantota Hospital has not had an ENT specialist for the past few months. His vacancy has not been filled. Both surgeons have travelled overseas and one surgeon has been appointed in their stead. He is attached to a hospital nearby and he only comes here sometimes. The functions of the emergency room and the operating theatre have stalled. Only one out of the two neurosurgeons are working in the Tangol hospital. Only one of the two child specialists at the hospital work there now. Only one of the two cardiologists are working. One eye surgeon left the country and he has not been replaced. A similar situation is taking place at the Thissamaharama Hospital and the Valasmulla Hospital. In addition, about 70 grade medical professionals have left the country during the past year. The media briefing representing the Badula hospitals was held at the Badula General Hospital. There are no anesthesiologists at the Diyatalava Hospital. There is no surgeon at the Valimada Hospital. There is only one doctor in some hospitals that are supposed to have two doctors. We know that a large number of doctors have passed their exams to work overseas and are waiting to travel overseas. We might even have to shut down all small hospitals and operate only general and teaching hospitals. If steps are not taken to allow doctors to practice in Sri Lanka, there will be no doctors left in the country due to the massive brain drain that is taking place. These are the views that were expressed at the press briefing held at the Nuareli General Hospital. During the month of April, we used the drug prednisolone in eye surgeries at the hospital. Out of the 34 patients who were operated on, 17 of them had returned to our hospitals since they had experienced various complications. Out of them, two patients had completely lost their sight and the remaining 15 patients are still receiving treatment at special eye hospitals in Kandy and Colombo. We still cannot say for certain how much of their eyesight will be restored. In addition, during the past few weeks, we are facing a shortage of anesthetic drugs for surgeries at our hospital. Therefore, we have postponed all non-urgent surgeries because we do not have sufficient medicine.